So let's start. First thing we should do is delete the default cube. We don't need that thing. And uh, let's make a new collection and call it e-girl. Why not? So let's hide the light and the camera and save the whole project. It's always the first thing we should do. So now let's load in our reference image. So hit shift A and open an empty image. And First thing we can do is here on the little button, go to item and rotate it upwards on the X axis, 90 degree. Our front view is always this green ball without the Y. So this here. Um, and now let's load in our our reference. Let's go here. Object data properties, image, open and open our reference. I have here the, I made a reference eGirl for this tutorial in Artbreeder. I have a tutorial on Artbreeder so you can look that up yourself if you need something. Um, so now I have here the, the reference image, the, this e-girl, I made this e-girl myself, so it's not a real person, so we don't get in any trouble. And, um, I think I think I will drag it up. So the the origin is down here at the neck and let's give it a look if we are centered. Yeah, we are sa centered. That's okay. So and now let's check in on our scale. Yeah, you see that's way too tall. Um, the whole picture is a meter tall. So the, the whole face is, is 80 centimeter so that's way too tall but for the tutorial um, for modeling purposes it's totally okay now the second thing uh, we will need is a, a side reference we don't need the same person we don't need the same picture but it would be nice uh, it's a uh, good to have nice to have it's a nice to have so but I'm sometimes using um, I, I've, I think you I think you can find a lot of side view reference images of um, people on Pinterest especially uh, I get all my art reference art references from Pinterest so a lot of people are there and um, on Pinterest you can also uh, link your art based on that reference to the reference image and stuff like that so it's depending on what exactly you are doing and stuff like that. So um, let's call the empty ref one, drag it into our main collection, not the modeling folder, and uh, let's select it and hit Shift D, duplicate, and call it. reference to and now give it a spin on the, the blue axis so the z axis 90 degrees
Okay, perfect. So let's open up a side reference image. I now have here my side view and you see it's clearly not the same girl. Um, but that doesn't matter. I only need a reference um, for the for the jawline and the ear and the the neck and stuff like that. And I will orientate the, the whole um, bone structure and geometry based on the front view. So it's only for for getting not out of uh, shape and out of proportion. So you can look up on Pinterest any site reference image you want, but I'm using this here because um, the main focus of mine was to get a the, the, the best site view and the ear so I can orientate and um, get the get a good uh, visualization of the side view of the female skull, female head. So, and now for to line up both, I need to scale this. So hit S and drag it a little bit back. Now drag it down. And you see here, the chin is lining up, the nose, not really. The the head, let's ignore that for now. Yeah, nice. So it's lining up. Um, switch to the the side view so where do we want the, the head to be and the neck and up also you have to ignore that pasture it's um, with the body and overall it will look very unnatural but for now we are focusing on just the head and uh, a little part of the neck so I think that's enough uh, let's drag it to the side. Let's drag her back. And now we set, just set up our base scene with our references, reference images. Good. So let's give it another save. Control S. And um, let's click on our second folder. And our starting mesh will be a round cube. So let's hit Shift A, mesh, and round cube. I think the round cube is the, the best base for any kind of head. So before you click anything, go down here to add round cube. And here the radius, increase to one, so we get a round version of it. And we have a lot of geometry going on, so let's decrease that. And I think um, three is perfect, nice. I mean, you could work with, with two, but I think I will, so or so I will add edge loop would add a edge loop so i'm starting with arc three and radius one it's the only thing i uh, i changed so and the thing is if you are after you added the the round cube and you are clicking anywhere this option will uh will be gone so keep that in mind so let's go here to toggle x-ray and let's hit tab to change into the edit mode and add an edge loop in the middle. Now go here to face selection and move, um, drag down the middle 
and hit delete faces. Perfect. So let's scale it down. Oh, uh, the first also um, modifier, add modifier, Miro clipping. Perfect. So let's drag that into place. Let's switch to object mode. And let's scale it down. I think that's good. So tab. Oh, also we should rename it. Head or eagle head. Eagle, eagle, eagle head. Okay, so good. That's a good starting point. So let's give it another save. Control S. And now we could technically uh, start adjusting our round cube. So um, the first thing we should do, we should adjust the hit vertex selection and adjust the, the points to uh, capture the, the frame. The frame and then go uh, more in the in, uh, more inwards and then change to the x-axis here and do the same thing with the side view and then ignore the reference images and rework it so it looks nice. So let's do that. So let's drag that up. Well, you know what? Let's get everything here and drag it up. Let's drag that a little bit down. And the hair has some volume in too, so we have to keep that in mind. And let's drag down the gin. And it's possible that the reference image isn't perfect symmetrical, so don't worry. We can adjust a lot of stuff afterwards. So, and you see um, here the, the face is still going out and here it's already gone. So I'm meeting at the middle point. And I'm going to drag that line here down below the nose because it will be the, the base for the nose shape later on and this above the nose, so the here. And here also you can see the, the eyebrow is going out. So maybe a little bit more here and this upwards. Good, I think that's a good uh, base for the front. That was very easy, I guess. So right now you see we have this kind of bean. So let's go to the side view and only move on the y-axis so we go, uh, don't destroy our progress we just made. And we will extrude for the nose, but uh, later to that, not now. And the thing here is you have to um, see through the hair. So imagine where the skull would be. And 
also let's drag that here to the lip line. This will be the chin. Okay, perfect. And this will the line will be the line of the, the ear where the ear should start. And this is the back of the head. And this, let's drag that here. So we get here the, the jawline. Okay, and now we could, we can already change to face selection, select those. Lead face, perfect. Change back and now we can go. Drag select. Go up here. So, yeah, why not? Why not? So, here, let's drag it a little bit out and I guess let's move that a little bit more down here so it's softening up. And I think we will. We are reaching a good point where we should, if we want um, this flat version of the head, we should leave it like that. But if we want to smooth it down, we should do it now. So I want to smooth it down. So I'm untoggling the X-ray so I can give it a check. It's already looking very nice like a normal head, but I have here those such, uh, sharp edges and I will get rid of those. So, but for now, shade smooth. So we see, oh, we have very sharp edges here. Uh, we can work with those. We could keep those to get um, for style reasons if we want, uh, or we can get rid of them by um, adjusting the vertices. So let's give it a save. And tab and I guess now is a good point we don't have uh, we can for now ignore both references and get rid of sharper points like this here drag it a little bit a little bit more more out Um, a lot of shape uh, will change. A lot of the shaping will change with the with the hair and, and the texture. So also keep that in mind. In mind. And I think we have here. This is very sharp. Let's drag it in. You see. We have here this weird situation. Okay and the back of the head. Let's drag that a little bit more in. 
here also and here. If we uh, want to get the, the head more smooth and more round, um, we have to add more geometry or edging edge loops and stuff. So um, the thing is the the more geometry, the more difficult it will be to to have a clear vision um, of the pixel uh, pixelation for the texture and also the um, UV unwrapping later on will be a little bit more complex, but we are very good to go. So, mm -hmm. and you see here that's that's looking very weird. So we definitely should add here maybe edge loop. Uh, the back of the head isn't that important but I think we should add something here in the front because um, it's looking a little bit weird. So let's add something here and shift left, select those, drag it out. So we can soften up this area. Drag this point a little bit more back. Perfect. Um, later on we will um, get rid of some geometry by merging vertices together. So uh, don't worry if, if you have too much geometry. So now we can use that to get a little bit more shape. I think I can live with with that weird edge, but here's a little bit of sharpness going on, and that's kind of weird. Yet yeah, now we have more geometry, so we can we can attack that. Set that a little bit more back. Set that a little bit more out. Get that a little bit more up. So overall we are softening it up and I think you, it's depending on uh, what are you exactly aiming for. Um, but I like to invest a lot of uh, geometry in, in points of interest. So the face, but I mean, you can also spend a lot of geometry in the armor or the outfit. But um, I think for our e-girl, it's very important for her to have a very interesting uh, face and soft face, very feminine uh, look. So we need we need those this geometry. So let's switch to the edit mode and um, statistics. So currently we have uh, 152. It's uh, low poly wise. It's 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 a lot, but we are investing it in something very important. So let's give it a save. Tap. Let's go back. And I think that's a perfect base 
for a face. Drag that a little bit more in. And here the, the head is still uh, looking kind of weird because we have no nose. So we will add a nose in no time. So let's check in on our front view. And now we have here those outer points. Let's drag it a little bit more out. Only tiny changes, but overall you can do nothing wrong. Um, happy little accidents, and low poly is very forgiving, and um, pixel pixelated textures are also very forgiving. So there isn't that much you can do wrong. Okay, I think we should make that a little bit more in. I get some Spider-Man vibes. So let's make a nose. Change to uh, face selection, select this part in the middle to the side view and hit E to extrude and now let's select that face delete face change to the vertex uh, vertex selection and shift left click those two M and to last first or whatever let's say center select both center okay now let's give it a, a look from the side let's drag it a little bit in and This one also, this one. So now let's adjust the nose. Um, now we have this situation here and let's select this point, this upper point here of the nose and drag it in. And let's drag it up. Target X-ray, and I think you see what I'm aiming for. This outer line will be the outer line of the of the nose, and this inner section will be the top part of the nose. So let's go down here and adjust that one here, and I think we should go a little bit more up and a little bit more down with that. And this here needs to be way smaller, like like this. Let's check on the side. And need to go way back here. Maybe also a little bit more back here. So. Check in. Untoggle X-ray. Okay, now we have a very sharp edge here. Let's drag it a little bit, little, little bit more in, and this a little bit more out. Any changes? No. So, okay, and I now we can add here a edge loop and toggle X-ray. 
move and now we can add the band of the nose this little banding and i think you need to find a good spot for the banding and i think it's here and that's definitely more here so the nose is a very important um, part of the face so take your time to to find a good spot for this bending here and the the posi position and you, know, you see we have to soften up the face again I think that's good. The nose looks very pointy. We check in on the front view. I think I will go with that side. And also, yeah, her nose is going up, but our e girl is going down. So, hey. And now we can grab this bending and bend it <laughs> and let's met this a little bit more in the middle here mm -hmm. nice That's a good nose. We can we can we can totally work with that. So let's give it a save. Control S. We did a lot. And now I'm dragging that point a little bit more out. So it gets a little bit more of a round shape. Hmm. And Now the head is very flat. Maybe we need to add. Let's go back. Maybe we need to add another edge loop. But let's give it a look for now. Um, this point here. This is he uh, here. You can see the shadow here. It's uh, the the cheekbone is here. So let's drag it to a good spot. And this point here. Let's drag it a little bit more out. We have this sharp situation, so let's drag that one out too. I think that's already better. So for our point here, the cheekbone point to work, uh, we need also to adjust those points of the lips. So let's drag it up, drag this in, drag this here. you see the, the the face is getting a more um feminine vibe to it i think but i think we need to drag that one out so you see we still have here those sharp edges but i think they will fade with the with the hair and stuff and also it's it can add to uh, interesting um stylization to the overall head so but i want to get rid of this sharp edge here so let's change to the side view um And 
that's gone, that's okay. Okay. Now it's not really looking like her, but the overall base shape of the face is um, totally her. So with the texture, everything will clear up and make more sense. So let's give it a last look. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe let's drag that a little bit more up. That's a little bit more down. And so You see, that's a very good base for the head. Nice. So one last thing we can do, uh, what we should do is making a little neck section. And uh, with the neck, we can already connect some parts here if we want. So we could merge some vertices, but I think we should do that later on with the... Um, no, let's do it now. Why, why not? Why not? So we need that geometry. We know that. We need to drag that a little bit more out. So we don't get that weird band here. Keep that okay. Um, so we want to connect some vertices which we don't need. We need the, the geometry on the top of the head because we want that um, round shape. We want to keep the geometry on the front, so but here on the back it's not that important. So let's connect some parts here. We can connect, for example. Um, can connect those. Well, let's give it a watch how many geometry we um, want here. Hmm. I think we can, let's give it a try, connect center. Um, change to edge, select and the soft edge. Now let's try to soft, soften it up. Okay, X-ray. Let's go here to the Hmm, does it work? I don't know. I'm not sure. I 
I think it does. Now we have here this um, bending here, but uh, that also will fade with the with the hair, so we can track that a little bit more in. But we're still keeping that uh, jawline. Still kind of weird. I think because of that point. Okay, now it's a little bit more better. Uh, it's better now. So, did we mess it up or did it work? Did it work? So, so it's still a little bit flat here. So I think I'm now over engineering the face. Sometimes you have to lean back and make space for mistakes or things you things you build think are mistakes. So let's I can live with that. The side view also works. So Yeah, why not? I think that's the perfect base. And how many we have now? We are having 160. Okay, that's good. That's very good. So let's um, hit Alt Left to select all those vertices here. Go to the side and hit E to extrude. Drag it a little bit in. So we get a small part of the neck and it is here. So we can make some final adjustments for the, for the neck. And So now we want to get uh, texture. We want to continue to texturing. For that, we need to click on our head, hit under material properties, down here, material properties, hit new. And then you can call it something if you want. Go down here on base color. Hit the yellow dot, image texture, and here on the new you can make. A, I would go with the default um, pixelation um, because we will later on scale the texture down. So we want to work from a lot of detail down to pixelated details. So just hit OK and go inside texture painting. Now we have here our untitled texture. Hit image, save as. And I would already call it like something, I don't know. So uh, we now we have our default texture. We saved. Technically, we can do that later on also. And now we need for the adjust adjustment of the texture, uh, we need something where we can um, yeah adjust the texture. For that, technically, we can go on the new and instead of blank pl 
plank we could use UV grid. We would get the here on the drop down menu on tile one. We could get this one here. Um, but I have something else, something better. Because uh, when you zoom in, uh, I want a, a pixel perfect grid, more or less. I want the UVs to unwrap um, a line with the pixels. So I have a special pixel, gri pixel grid for that. It will be available in the, in the comments below as a download if you want to use the same pixel art grid like me. So it's looking like that. And you see, you can zoom in into a single pixel. So it's way more helpful to set up um, a UV for pixelation later on. And also let's change that to closest. Yeah, we are going here to uh, UV editing and change to face selection and hit A and select everything. Right click and hit unwrap. We would get this kind of um, texture unwrapping. And the thing is, um, those lines and those pixels, this pixelation uh, will translate later on to our uh, pixel texture. And I don't want the pixels to have those weird curvatures. I want them, you see here, I want them to have straight lines and um, and I want them to, to be horizontal. So I need to make some cuts. For that we're changing to the edge selection. And I think the first thing we should do is cut off the nose. So hit A, while edge selection, left click, shift left click to add, right click and mark seam. So where could we do an, a second uh, cut? I think maybe Maybe here in the middle. I don't know. Definitely here on the top of the head. So let's do that. Like that. And Maxim. So What's next? The neck. For that I would say, let's select it here. Hit A, mark seam. Now we got three parts. And, hmm. And I think we should make a cut here. So the, the face is, um, is its own and the back of the head is its own. So now, now we have to give it a look. So hit A, right click. Oh, we need the face selection. A select all and wrap. It's already looking very good, very good. And we only have um, five, five islands. So up here, let's switch to the island selection. And at first let's scale them down. And the thing is for later on, um, I also want to add the hair on this um, texture. So I need at least a third, uh, a quarter or half of the texture for the hair. So I have to keep that in mind. 
and I'm always going for for good pixelation with uh, for the for the front of the face with around um, 64 by 64 pixels. So that's always something I have to keep in mind. I get nice pixelation, but still uh, I see the lines clearly. So here, let's select the face. I'm rotating it. Switch to the front view. Okay, nice. Uh, here the nose. Also, let's rotate it. And I guess... Okay, already, okay, here's the neck part, and I think uh, on the neck I can live with some distortion, it's not that important. Okay, that that will that will work. So and now let's uh, get rid of some little areas like this. And I'm managing that way. I'm selecting the vertices. I'm selecting those and hit right click, align X. You see. Uh, line and back a line and now we need here a little a little dip nice the underside of the nose, I, f I think I will just ignore it. So the face is the most important thing because uh, we are adding our makeup and stuff later on. So let's let's try to align it. I think down here we can align. Let's give it here also a try and align. Maybe those. Align Y. Hmm. doesn't have to be perfect but I'm doing my best 
to get it as straight as possible. I think that's already very good. So let's check on the side. Okay, we have here on the, the front. The thing is, um, some parts will be monocolor, like here, those transitions. I don't, I will not um, paint a straight line down. So I think that will work out great. And I think here we can try to align by X. And also here in the middle part, align by X, uh, align by Y. Also here, align Y and align Y. think here and I'm X and here on the back I, I think I will just ignore it Side of the head uh, looking good, back of the head looking weird, but I will. I'm just focusing on the front, and I think also here this area should be a little bit should be reworked. Align, 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 and. Let's try to align that. Mm. Let's give that a try. Wait, oh shit. Align Y. Uh, I mean align X. And align X. Yeah, looking looking fine. Maybe here. Okay, nice, nice. Looking good so far. Okay. Let's give it a last look. I think I can totally live with that. So let's rearrange it a little bit. So hit your island selection. And maybe let's scale it up a little bit. And I don't, cannot forget. So let's bring it down here. Maybe the nose next to it top of the head on the top, the next, uh, maybe, oh, how about that? 
and we are just and let's scale it up okay nice now i have the, the upper half of the texture for the hair to adjust also maybe make a little bit space between those parts um for the texturing later yeah and i think it's it's looking nice yeah we we success successfully unwrapped the the uv okay nice so let's give it a save nice mm, the next step will be uh texturing and for that um i want to do one thing i got here very this shine i want to decrease the spect uh specula and increase the, the roughness so i don't get those weird re reflections and here i'm going to change to um to my to the texture I'm, i was saving let's change here to texture painting and And because I'm using um, it transparent, I need to use a wireframe. I mean, you can technically just use it black and not uh, transparent like me, but I'm gonna try something for the hair uh, where I need the transparency. So that's why I'm trying it. So good, the first thing I'm going to do is I need the the skin tone so I go here inside the, the color take the eyedropper and take uh, the average of the the skin color which is this makes sense okay and so I'm now uh, taking one step back to the editor, hit A and go back to the texture painting and now I got the, the outlines of my texture and I'm now, now going to trace those lines because I want here the transparency Oh, I need to change here to the viewport shading so I get a realistic representation of the texture. And I think I can untoggle the wireframe. So we, we need a, a color base to draw on. And I, I, I always like to take either the, the lightest skin tone color um or a mid tone but not a dark area like here the the shadow area on the nose or something like that that would be too dark that would uh, look kind of weird um but i mean it's depending on what you're doing with your texture so let's color that out And like I said, I, I need the transparency because I want to try stuff with the hair. Okay. It's a good base. 
So let's make this a little bit smaller. And now we are setting up a brush based on our reference image. So, and this is working like this. We are going to texture properties. Oh, and also I want to give the texture save. So image save. So we save that. Um, and here texture properties, new brush, new. And now I can here open an image or um, I'm going to open here the reference image. So now I have to go up here to the active tool workspace settings and scroll down to texture here. And now here tiled, I can change it to stencil. And now I'm getting a stencil based of our reference image. And it's working like that. Um, if it's not a square the picture, I have to go to image aspect and the, the image can scale up and stuff like that. Reset transformation, so when I'm I don't know, I have it like that. I can reset and it's snapping back. With the the right mouse. With the right mouse click on the anywhere, you can drag it around and hitting control right, you can rotate it and shift right you can zoom it so i'm trying to center it and reset transformation and i'm trying to line it up and maybe maybe i should toggle the wireframe so Let's zoom in, in a little bit more. So, and now it's a little, uh, we need to try to adjust it very simply. And the thing is we only have to paint one side to get um, a right image. And the awesome thing about those AI pictures is they are always kind of centered and stuff like that. So I'm trying to um, work uh, from the from the eye to at first the the eye part, the nose, and the mouth. So separately, not painting over like a maniac. Um, I'm trying to find the right spot for it, and I'm still not sure what kind of what eye I'm using. I think this one. So let's decrease the radius here, 25, and change the strength to half of it. So I think the spot for the eye is working like that. I think that's that's good. And I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm using that eye. No, I guess I guess I will go with the lighter one. So at first I'm doing the, the outlines. And um, I'm already painting very mindfully. Now the second round. I 
you see here already I'm projecting it onto the texture. And and I think we can already take a part of the eyebrows. Ignore that part. And yeah, nice, nice. And so now as the thing should I continue yeah, let's let's do it. So um I'm only taking half of the nose, so I'm going with that with that part here. Giving it a try. Oh, now I'm no, no, I know what's the problem is. Um, I on the top here I selected her mid-tone uh, skin color, and I need to change it to white. So H down, S down, V up. Oh my god. So let's. But I mean, it, it's working, so. But let's go back. Control C that. So now. I thought, why was she so tanned? So keep that in mind. Don't make the same mistake. Change it to white to get a, a neutral, um, the neutral um, projection of the image. So and I'm making here some kind of uh, a cone. I'm trying to capture the the, the cheekbones and stuff like that. And you see it's blending very nicely with the texture. And we are going to do some more blending. So let's get here the eyebrow. Let's get here the, the shadow of the nose. Nice. And I want this side of the nose. No, no, that looks weird. I'm taking this side. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's working. Okay, and I think I will set the make the lips a little bit bigger. Shift right and drag it up. And I'm also oh um I make the lips bigger. And drag them a little bit down. Now I'm tracing the lips. Maybe the other side.
And here the, the drop shadow of the chin. And hmm, I'm not very happy with the with the with the lips. Trying one last thing. I'm trying only to capture the, the top of the limb, uh, the lip, and a little bit of the bottom, and no, maybe a smaller lip. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So, and now maybe a little bit of down here. Okay, no. So now we can switch to the softening. And we also can turn off our reference. And you see we we captured the face. So it's very um you need to adjust um the perspective and the nose and the lips and stuff like that. So I changed the lips a little bit and the eye and um basically we captured the face. And I'm going to rework a little bit the eyes and maybe also I'm using a, another um, reference image for projection. So, but for now, let's blend the, the, the skin tone a little bit more into the, the rest of the face. So for that, I'm using here the Maybe a little bit less, just a little bit bigger. And I'm blending it a little bit more. I drag it out, I drag the other color in. And I do the same thing here. And now I'm going to soften it and I'm going back to 25. And now I'm trying to soften this transition here. And try not to zoom in while um, soften it because it will change the setup of your brush and can maybe also mess up your texture. So. The thing is the, the side of the head will covered by will be covered by hair. So we don't have to worry that much about um, this part being lighter. So that's basically painting um, going after your feeling. So I think you just have to watch me how to paint this thing. <laughs> 
So here on the cheekbones, I think it's like applying normal makeup. So dragging, dragging it above the, the cheekbones in this upwards stroke and soften it up. Blending it with the rest of the face. It's so weird. It's basically um, makeup basics, kind of. But what do I know? So I, I think we got here a very nice blend. And also a lot of this is vanishing with the pixelation. So the, the eyes are looking kind of weird, but we will change that later on. So let's look at here. Can blend it here a little bit more. Yeah, that's working. So basically the, 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 I think the down, um, the part here of the nose is a little bit weird, but the thing is with the pixelation, it can totally work, but let's try to adjust this here and maybe drag a little bit of the nose in to reconstruct the nose. Okay, and you have to be mindful on edges like that. And I'm going to drag it in here. Looking good, why not? And you see, always when I'm uh, painting over this edge, I'm painting the and transferring it here to the lip. So I need to be to keep that in mind. Okay. Here a little bit more blending, and I've, I'm I'm still not very happy with her lips, so I think I'm I'm going to to use another um, reference image. So let's go back to the drawing and go down here to the texture properties. Let's change her image to another reference image and uh, where did I save it and project okay so I like to uh, work with closed lips because open lips can look uh, kind of weird so basically I'm using this picture and let's drag it, zoom in, drag the new lips in, scale it up and, and with the second image we can already use kind uh, stuff of um, parts of her makeup. Uh, so you can combine a lot of uh, reference images from e-girls you can find on um, Pinterest. I really recommend Pinterest and um, Artbreeder. So you don't just copy paste a girl from Instagram. But uh, I mean, yeah, sure. The good thing is we are pixelating 
everything afterwards anyway, so hey. And the thing is, where if the, the color tone of the skin is very different, um, you can try to blend it in or stuff like that, or to um, rework the reference images and get them both on the same level of um, of the skin tone. So, but that's extra work, and I'm always trying to keep everything inside Blender. She got that nice um, dip on the lips, so I don't know. Looks kind of cool. Maybe let's decrease the, the size of the lips a little bit. And she got those, um, those, I don't know, it looks like cat likes, like lips, this duck face kind of lips. So let's try that. No. Hmm. No, I don't I will want to use her lips. Oh okay, but the those um edges of the lips they look way more interesting because of those those weird um, dips. So I'm definitely, I'm for sure using that. Nice. So, okay, now let's go to smear. And you see here the, the color is different. So let's drag it. Oh, let's go back. Let's drag it a little bit out, drag the other color in, and and now I go to soften, zoom in, and I'm going to soften up that color. So it's blending with the, the other color, uh, the skin tone. But afterwards with the pixelation, you will not notice small indifferences. So, okay. I am also will come, uh, come back to, to the lips later because I will redraw um, elements. So, Okay, now let's attack her, her eyes. I can use her makeup because of her closed eyes, so I'm going to do that. Okay, let's go to the front view. Zoom it into a nice position like that. And I think I will zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Shift right, right click and drag it. It's very iconic, very typical eagle stuff with those um, big eye thingies, um, lashes. So I'm trying to capture that, but I need to go down 20 and now I'm going to redraw that. But also that 
Dot. This edge on the eyes. Okay, and I think now we can continue uh, with blending or smearing because now I'm going a little bit more in depth with the makeup. So I'm dragging it down to get this cat eye shape. So, and the thing is now I'm, I think I will just soften it up. No, 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 no. I go back to drawing and we'll deselect. I'm going to deselect the texture and change this back to tiles. And now I'm just taking the, the skin tone and painting over it like an eraser. Okay, yeah, now we need to repaint some elements and I'm using here the eye drop it to just use the color white, pull the ed edge down, S down, um, make it bright. And I'm switching this to 20. And I'm, I'm recoloring that highlight here. Also making it a little bit more pointy. And also the thing is it's totally depending on your taste <laughs> so I mean you could stop you could have stopped uh, 10 minutes ago and uh, would be happy, happy with it, but I'm not happy with it, so. And I'm not sure about her eyes, but oh no, let's make that, that glow a little bit more. So her eyes are a little bit more um, lazy I don't know so and I think I'm going to use the eye drop it take the color it's more in the green make it brighter and I think I will zoom in and get a little bit more of more color in there And take that brownish
Now her eyes are a little bit more piercing and kind of menacing. I don't know, it looks kind of creepy, but interesting. So the thing is, uh, I see you can technically um, redraw a lot of elements here and make them more pretty. But the thing is, we are going to pixelate the whole texture. So a lot of it will be very forgiving. Um, parts will, will vanish or blend in with the overall thing. So we have to keep that in mind. So I, I clearly can work here a little bit more lazy. And also the heart. Drawing the heart. Okay, nice. So let's give the texture a save. So far so good. And I think I'm happy with it and we can continue with um, we can continue with the hair. Also, you see by combining um, a lot of um, reference image images, a stencil, uh, you get a very different result from the from the start. So we we I changed the, the lips with these little tips here. I gave her the the makeup of the other girl. And I made her eye color a little bit more brighter. So basically what a girl would do with an uh, Instagram filter or um, stuff like that. So, but oh, one thing. Um, taking here that, uh, that shadow of the lips. Mm -hmm. And make the color very so. Redrawing that that lip line. Okay, nice. I mean, you can see where I'm heading with this. So let's give the texture a, a save. And yeah, so um, we redraw some elements. We used a second girl to complete the, the makeup and the overall eager look. And I think basically you can take every base head and slap on another girl's makeup. So you achieve a very different look um, all the time. So uh, the results can, very, um, can be very interesting. I didn't even know where I'm ending up with that or with the other girl from the time lapse video. So let's continue with the hair. Okay, uh, let's continue. Let's make some hair. But um, I was go um, I'm now back at the layout. I switched from the texture editing into the layout. And I'm also making a backup. So drag drop it into the backup folder. Um, ah, let's give it a try. I can go to the side view, hit E to extrude and E to extrude. And hmm. And I think that that could work. Yeah, sure. Nice. 
Okay, 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 good. And this here, I think I will just take here the headline let's give it a try now it looks a little bit weird for sure um, but I, I just want to play around and see what's working and I think that that will work nice and okay yeah sure I can work with that okay good so but before I'm hmm sometimes I I'm texturing the the head underneath so I get a hairline and then I'm modeling the hair above so if you're watching under the the plane of the hair you can see still the hairline so I think I will do that here too so control C and um, I will go back to texturing and and I uh, I think this um, with the last girl I also was aiming for this pinkish um, purple kind of vibe so I think I got here this pink maybe I'm going with a blue a blue kind of tone so I'm here in texture properties making again a brush and I'm getting here my reference girl with the with the blue hair and go up here make it a stencil and now it's very distorted so image aspect scale it down and now I'm just gonna make a, a hairline so it doesn't need to be pretty or stuff like that I just want a hairline so I, so if some someone is looking under the, the hair it doesn't look that terrible so let's increase 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 the pencil uh, the stencil and increase that so and now we get some nice hair structure going on give it a save and now we got a hairline so it's a good starting point to model the hair and did I save the texture don't forget to save the texture save the project it's a lot of work we are investing into it so and nice nice so I'm hiding the the reference image for now I think we we can handle this by ourselves and maybe also let's do another backup so and now we said we want to start here the the banks so let's do that e to extrude and again e to extrude change to vertex and I know we're getting now a lot of distortion and the thing is we will remodel a lot of stuff and 
and also so now it's about uh, just finding the right shape and later on we will texture the, the hair so it, it won't be staying with those um, lines so and I think let's drag it a little bit more down and this a little bit more up okay that makes sense and you see the, the the hairline is already helping to sell the overall feel and i'm switching here to to flat for this and okay now okay i need the we said here i think we we said here with this line we are extruding the hair so let's do that go to the front hit e and i think we should already extrude that a little bit more out alt left to select the whole thing and hit e again and e again e again and e again so i think that's enough um geometry and now we are just trying to adjust the hair so let's rig that out to give the hair a little bit more volume in let's drag that in control c And I think now we can really untangle the. So let's get rid of that blockiness. So now again we try to find a spot and to adjust it and let's shape the hair in an interesting fashion and oops face and okay let's get that a little bit more in just points a little bit more A little bit more out so it gets a more organic shape
Um, maybe let's. I'm changing that reference image. So let's go to object mode. I'm not very sure of the the short hair. I think I will go with the. Change it to her. With this hairstyle, the the long hair. Because it's already the the reference image, so. Zero and drag it down. So, so she got straight hair, and okay. So basically, like that. There's a lot of shape going on up here. Try to straighten it. Checking on the side. And you have to keep in mind long hair. Uh, um, when rigging a character for a game and stuff like that, you may have to rig long hair. You definitely have to rig long hair. So. And again, I think I'm going to overlap it here a little bit. Yeah, nice. Now we get some got some Katy Perry situation going on here. I think don't make it too straight. And I think I'm going to pull that that down. Okay. Nice, nice and nice, nice. Okay. So and I think we can now um, step further and texture the hair. I mean, technically, you can just stop here and um, say, yeah, that's enough. But I want a little bit more structure inside the hair. 
So for that, I also wanna lay down the, the UVs. So I'm going here to UV editor, hit, select the part and hit uh, here on wrap. So it will only unwrap the part I'm just, I just, um, I just selected. <laughs> Where's the front? That's the top. That's also the top. So that's the middle. Okay. And now I'm selecting here. I just I I don't know maybe I I can I could give her technically also buns like the other girl but um let's go with the straight the straight hair it's also something again where you can work very creatively so yeah um, okay, island selection, don't forget to select everything and let's scale it down. And I think that would work better. And we can live with some distortion in the hair because hair can have distortion. So let's switch very quick to the, so let's select everything again. And I think okay, I'm gonna scale that a little bit down. Okay, so let's go to texture paint. Okay. And now I want my brush. So I already selected this picture here. So let's switch here to, to this picture. Go up here and, and I think now I will work that inside here. Okay, good. Give it a last save. And let's So overall she turned out very great. I like it. So one last thing, I want the the texture uh in a smaller scale. For that I'm making a copy of the texture and I'm already renaming it to the same name underscore um, 128 pics. Um, I'm trying to get the 128 pixel times 128 pixel on this picture. So right click if you have a Windows PC, um, edit. And now we are inside paint. Sh change size, pixel and double click one, two, eight. Okay. 
And now let's give it a save. And now we have a pixelated small scale version of our texture. So the last two things are basically um, the overall thing is now maybe it looks a little bit weird or messy, but later on with the light with, with the right lighting, it will look amazing. And also with the pixelation we just made. Um, so let's change the the pixel the uh, the the high res texture to the pixelated um, texture, and we need to paint some arrows. I I will show you. So let's go here to material properties, open image, and change to our one twenty eight version. In uh, paint, uh, you will lose the transparency. But in Photoshop, you can basically edit it and scale it just down. So, okay, now we got this pixelation. And I think I'm very happy with it. I think bigger than that would look kind of weird. So I can totally live with that. So I think we got um, nice pixelation going on here and you see a lot of work is uh, gone. We put in the the um, the details, but also we got here some arrows. We have to rework it. But before that, um, I want to check in on a little bit more higher version. Uh, 256 version. And it looks like that. Well, now we have to consider what exactly uh, pixel, how much pixel uh, pixelation we want. And I'm not sure if I'm going with the, the very pixel pixelation or with the little bit more high res. It's, it's very depending on your, what, what you prefer basically. So I really like the, the resolution, but uh, the, the small pixelation. So basically here you can just use that, um, that pixelation and you see it, it got a lot more vibe to the overall, um, to the overall thing. It looks more interesting with the pixelation but with more pixelation, I don't know. I think I like it more. I think I like it more. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, it's personal preference. If you like, uh, this amount of pixelation, keep it like that. And, uh, I choose here for the texture size, um, 256 times 256. But if you prefer more pixelation, uh, like that, um, I show you how to rework some arrows like here on the top. We have to paint over that and here on the lips. So for that we have to go to the um, texture painting. If it's not selected, you have here the drop down menu. Uh, let's zoom in. And let's zoom in here. Oh, and we got something on the on the neck. Um, for sure we need to scale down. Let's paint over that. Okay, so for that I'm using the smearing, uh, the softening and the smearing tool. And I'm using, I think 10, 10 would be, is a good idea. So. And you see, I'm just painting over it with the smearing, uh, with the with the softening. So I get rid of those little distortions. So 
So let's give the texture another save and we we just prepared our text, uh, our lowest uh, pixelated texture. So and now with, with the right lighting it can look very amazing. And here for comparison the, the other texture a little less pixelation and our highest resolution and again and again I don't know it's personal preference I like the most this um, heavy pixelation which it just looks uh, the most stylish I think um, but it needs some prepare work afterwards. And I think you still can see your uh, paint job and all the, the work you put in with 256 and also get some nice pixelation. So the most amount of detail and pixelation uh, is going on here. But my personal preference is more here but it's for you to decide on what you will settle on. So I hope you had fun in this tutorial. I hope you learned something. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, let them in the comments below. Um, I'm here for it. So I hope you like this tutorial. Um, please considering liking this video and if you haven't subscribed and want more tutorials like this um, yeah um, consider subscribing bye